Hi friends, this is Stacy Cobb and I just wanted to give you the update on my diorama here. Um, of course you can see that it's on my uh, trusty little cloth covering on my desk. But this is the back side and I'm going to give you kind of a bird's eye view first and then I will eventually switch down to more where you're at level with it. Anyway, this is the back side. And this is one of the side views. The lawn, and I use that term loosely, is some moss over a painted piece of cardboard. The rock features are actually air dry clay formed into rocks then glued onto the cardboard uh, and then I painted it. The windows, and yep there's plastic there, is recycled from some packaging I had for an item I had gotten in the mail and then I used a little piece of paper to make the window panes and the uh, curtains are made out of tissue paper. Okay, here's the front side of the house, and yes, the door works. It's on a, a little hinge made out of, uh, I think I made them out of paper clips, actually, and I just hinged it into the paper of the door itself. Um, the mush Here's more rocks made out of air-dry clay. The mushrooms are also made of air-dry clay. All the clay here on this particular item is air dried clay and then I painted it with acrylic paint so and again on this one there's a window now this is a door and it's made out of just a, a heavy cardboard paper but I just wanted to make sure it does open but not very well also again it's got the tissue paper curtains and a little patio and of course here's our little plant that uh, I painted the other day. Looks pretty good. And we're back at the back. So this is the rustic cottage and basically it's made out of cardboard. All of this is cardboard. All the little shakes are cardboard and they're painted. Um, this particular piece here was supposed to look like wood and it's air dry clay that again has been glued onto the cardboard um, form. All right. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on some of the things so you can see it. And here's the little plant I did. All these are air dry clay. All the flowers, air dry clay. So here we go. We're at more of an eye level look here. Looks like spider webs. <laughs> it's just um, from the glue gun. Each and every one of these rocks is attached with glue first before it was painted. Each and every shingle is put on with glue. And all the air dry plants are attached with glue. I started this project in March, just before everything started to be shut down for the quarantine. Uh, I think I started around March 3rd. And I just cut out the pieces for the basic uh, cottage shape. So 
And you can kind of see some of the detail here. There's the little plant that we just uh, painted the other day. Anyway, uh, this is the diorama as it currently is completed. Um, it's uh, my rustic cottage with flowers, mushrooms, rockway, uh, moss covered lawn, curtains in the windows. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. And other than the glue, the moss, and um, I had to buy some air dry clay because I didn't know I could make it. Now I know there's plenty of recipes online for making your own air dry clay. It's really quite easy to do. Um, but for the purposes of what I was doing here, this was all fine. I probably have in materials less than $10 uh, in it. And the rest of it is... Uh, stuff I already had um, I think it was like two dollars I spent for the moss and I think the air dry clay was six or seven dollars I, I don't remember it was too long ago for me and I didn't save the receipt anyway just uh, it was a lot of fun and it kept me occupied during quarantine uh, that's for sure Anyway, I hope this inspires you to do your best and try something new that you've never tried. The world is full of wonderful things and we have a lot of stuff in our own homes already that we could be making some fantastic projects with. And it's all about uh, being creative and expressing yourself in that creati creativity. So, until next time, thank you again for watching. If you like this video or it inspires you, please hit the like button and subscribe. That would really help me out. Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.